now check this video out in Hayes, Kansas, as a quick hitting winter storm races across the state, delivering a blanket of snow to many. Rain changing to snow for others and cold temps for everyone. Well, the heaviest snowfall is expected across northern and western Kansas, where three to five inches will be possible with lighter slushy amounts over the southeast, but most likely be an inch or less. In Mountain Grove, the city's fire department posted this message on Facebook saying to be careful as sleet was coming down there on the roads and some of those are iced over. Jamie, what's the latest on the snow right now? Well, right now we're actually looking at a lot of the snow beginning to exit the area. So this is starting to wind down. Uh, you can see, though, the snow continues in areas closer to central Missouri, all the way down to about I-44, areas like Conway and Lebanon, still looking at some light snow. Here in Springfield, we had a bout of rain-snow mix earlier this evening, say between 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock, and then it sort of shut down or transitioned over to mainly just some light mist. Looks like we've got another little band beginning to come into the area now. Again, you can see most most of the snow is northeast of Springfield, but here in the Springfield area, we've got this last band that's uh, beginning to push across here and looking at some light snow right now in Fairgrove and we may see some more light snow or at least a snow rain mix here in the Springfield area, maybe over the next 30, 45 minutes uh, with things beginning to shut down thereafter here and then further east as we work through the rest of the night. Here's some pictures. Uh, you can really see the snow coming down there in Osage Beach. This photo is sent in by Ricky Smith. Here's another one. Uh, this is not too far to the east of Springfield, a little southeast of Lebanon in Plato, Missouri. Uh, you can see the snow accumulating on the deck there. And here's a great photo uh, just outside of our viewing area, a little north of Clinton in Warrensburg, Missouri. You can see snow blanketing the ground there. In fact, uh, had a couple of reports come in. Looks like maybe as much as two and a half to three inches of snow has fallen in the Warrensburg area. And this is what it looked like earlier this evening here in Springfield, just outside of the Colorton Studios. You can see the light snow falling there and then landing on the uh, hood of the car and uh, quickly melting away as temperatures have remained just above the freezing mark. And that's really been the good news tonight is that, yes, we have seen some accumulations uh, in areas north of I-44 or along I-44 on grassy surfaces, on rooftops, on decks, uh, but the roads have been okay because road temperatures are above freezing and, and, and actual air temperatures are above freezing in many cases. Right now, 35 degrees in Springfield. You might be wondering, well, how can you get snow if temperatures are above freezing? Well, the surface temperature matters, but it also matters and maybe matters even more what's going up, going on higher up in the atmosphere. Uh, and you have to go maybe about, say, about a mile or so above the surface. If you've got temperatures there, at or below freezing, uh, there's a pretty good chance that you can get those snowflakes all the way down to the ground like we've seen this evening. Hour by hour forecast, again, uh, the threat for some light snow or rain snow mix will continue near and north of I-44 through about midnight. After that, that should shut down. We wake up to cloudy skies, and I think areas here along and north of I-44, I think we're going to probably be stuck with generally cloudy conditions for most of the afternoon as well. Better chance to get some sun south of I-44 tomorrow afternoon and as another cold front sweeps across the area there's going to be a shot at maybe some rain or snow showers probably snow pellets tomorrow afternoon especially uh, from Springfield Northeast uh, close to the Rolla area about 32 for a low tonight in Springfield with a high tomorrow of only 39 degrees warmer readings to the south where I think we can get some afternoon sun maybe into the low to mid 40s in areas like Branson a five on our colorator and the pattern will remain cold this is just the first wave of cold we've got another one that's going to come in uh, early Early next week, there'll be a chance for maybe some wintry weather with that, and then the cold will descend on the area, making for some uh, very, very chilly readings for Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, near record lows, I think, Saturday morning with a low of 17. Low 40s with sunny skies on Saturday. Mostly cloudy on Veterans Day with a high of 44. Again, watching for that wintry weather potential on Monday. Highs only in the 30s, and then Tuesday looks like we may just barely get above the freezing mark given the cold air mass is going to be in place. Okay, and what is our viewer? Where's club number tonight? Uh, that number tonight is 154-876. Center jackpot is $200. All right, Jamie, thanks. So to come here at 10 o'clock,